Hello, my name is Philip. I'm a filmmaker, martial artist, and actor. And today we're going to be looking at the best of my fight scenes in martial arts. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more and follow because I've also done fun stuff like train as a warrior monk at the Shaolin Temple. Thank you so much for 150,000 subscribers. Now please enjoy. Let me know your favorite shot down in the comments.
you enjoyed it, let me know your favorite scene down in the comments. I also started a second YouTube channel for gaming where we analyze the cinematic language of video games. Also, if you want to chat live, come over to Twitch. It gets a little crazy over there. You can force me to use smelling salts and stuff in the chat. Now here's some more of the best clips from the channel and funniest moments. And we've done a, we've done a lot. I'm here in Yunnan Shaolin Temple in China. With the esteemed Wushifu, a uh, great, great teacher. I couldn't breathe. 17,000 feet. Five minutes to make a decision that would define my character forever. It's cut him five times. So I have a blood knife and nothing in my hand. Everything I'm doing here. Do you like to eat pizza with pineapples and avocados? Ammonia inhaling. So nothing bad's gonna happen to us, right, Gigi? <laughs> <laughs> oh! How you feel, man? Eh? Great. Imagine if I had a beard. What would I do with a beard? Death Valley. One of the most extreme places on earth. We made our way there straight from the Grand Canyon to continue our trek. Oh, I know that one. Who is it? Dark Vader. Who Vader? R2-D2. Guys, finish me off. Harry Potter. That's Dark Vader's dog. <laughs> oh my god, this is worse than I thought, guys. Hey everybody, what's up? We are here today with Sarah who plays Ash. Catch him. Hello. I'm very excited. When he goes for a really charged room, you back up and in. Use all this. All this muscle that he has. To our band. Oh my Babel. gosh, that actually came out looking better than I expected. Yeah? Oh That's what they said when I was born. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go get pizza, guys. There'll be no pizza for you. What are you talking about? You good, man? What are you talking about? Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> Spence, what are you doing, man? One day you'll thank me. Do you understand me? Where am I? Find Spencer, and I'll make him pay. Guys, what are you doing? Pizza's here. Pizza? What topics? Hello everyone, I'm here at Anime NYC and I'm so excited to be here with Ray Chase, otherwise known as the voice of Netflix. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. I'm so sorry, Ray. I thought we were going to do an interview. <laughs> it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. You said I had to move my mouth sideways to do it? To beard or not to beard? That is the question. So, did you work out yet today? Well, me and you worked out, uh, it was the other day. Take a rest day once in a while, it can be good. All right, yeah, yeah. Bennett, there is no rest day. What? Spencer? No rest day is the day you die. 
Hey, stop kidding around, man. Come on. of the gods and even, you know, these half-gods like Achilles doing these feats of strength. But at the end of the day, you're gonna die. You know, we have a finite life, but at the same time, don't be afraid to jump to the Coliseum of life and just fight. Because I the most important step a man can take. It's not the first one, is it? But if we stop, we accept the person we are when we fall. The journey ends. The failure becomes our destination. To love the journey is to accept no such end. I have found through painful experience that the most important step a person can take is always the next one. Always the next step. Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Jesse from the FF7 remake. Hello. Phil, your stream is so cool. You're my best friend. I love that jacket. I'm so glad Chad is behaving themselves. You will always be my queen. You wish to fight me? Oh, they're cowards! Cowards are first! Oh, God, I'm dying. Bro, you're on a Netflix show. It shows where Are you serious? Why do I not know about this? I'm being told by Chad I'm on Netflix. I talk to heroes not only on screen, but also in real life. And I have an awesome guest for you guys, the amazing. Most of those emotions that we felt were purely evoked from the presence of music. You are actually learning character. You're learning how to be a human in the world. You still hold on to those roots that you love so much, the passion that made you start in the first place. Movement to me really is just a memory, like a water wheel, scooping up those old feelings of something you've done a thousand times, like the water wheel, taking from those currents that it's tasted before. Can we ever go back to how we felt when we did something for the first time? The water ends up back where it started, but is it ever the same? Yet one game has always stood out to me because of its dark and more realistic tones. Oh, where am I? Why are you being so quiet today? So, uh, everything good? Yeah, everything's good. I think it's in the second cabinet on the, uh, on the rabbit. <laughs> oh, um, hey. Is there I, another girl? Absolutely not, no. There's always been something there for me in the movements that flow through your joints and connect in a symphony of violent peacefulness. Each contraction contains the thousands of hours you've trained and the cherished memories of the joy you felt, yet also freezes time around you, and you exist compressed only within the patterns you paint with your limbs, your thoughts, your heart. I don't understand, it says I'm lying. I have raw meat, girl. I'm gonna drop it right on you. <laughs> Oh god! No! No! Coco's burning! No! Coco! I didn't mean to do this to you, Coco. I didn't want for this to happen. So, what do you think about doing for your birthday? I think I might just, just relax a little bit. So, I'm gonna see what I wanna do, you know. 
Well, the choice is yours, Phil. Uh, what you did right now? Well, <laughs> always be ready for anything. You don't need a reason to help people. Of course, we can only do it in the most ancient, famous Buddhist temple in existence. Finally, I unscrewed it. Our next few days were filled with struggle as we climbed. It's getting harder to breathe. Will I ever reach that summit? Will any of us? I don't know. But I'm okay putting the journey before the destination. Marriage is what brings us together today. Marriage. Don't forget it, you son of a <laughs> Get out of here before it's too late. You have to get the blade in between the blades, so to speak, all right? So you can't touch the fan. It's a family heirloom. It will break if you even touch it the slightest bit. <laughs> Hold on it. Merry Christmas, philosophers. Christmas morning. No excuse not to train. We slept in the dirt last night. No comforts, no pleasures. You may not have gotten everything you want for Christmas. Always be grateful for what you do have. Christmas in the Grand Canyon. Thank you so much again for 150,000 subscribers. Going on for 200K, let me know your favorite clip down in the comments. Check out my Instagram if you wanna see my daily training, what I do for martial arts, fitness, eating, it's all there in my Instagram story. Also join my Discord, which is a great place where all my community comes together. And let me know if there's anyone you want me to collab with. As you can see in this video, we collabed with amazing people like Juju Mufu, Britt Hertz, Pasha, the boss. And remember the channel slogan, cowards die first.